Hello, I'm Andrew Lewis and welcome back to FTL, this time as a slug cruiser. Man of war. Man of war. I don't know how slugs speak. Um, but this is hopefully going to go better than last time. Last time. Every time. Is it sector three we died in last time? It feels like it was sector three. I think it was sector three. If it was, then that's sector three every time. And my god, I'm getting tired of sector three. But we're going to die straight in as man of war, which will be called Aaron Unix. Uh, we will call you... The Unix. The Unix. Yes, that's, that's a good one. Uh, and for the name, oh, I've got to hit enter. Name of our captain. You shall be Bishdor. Hello, Bishdor. Welcome back. You are my green captain. And the person working in the engine quarters will be Craig Entvisel. So we're just going to call you Craig. Hello, my name is Craig. I'm Bishto. Hello, my name's Craig. You Bishto? Yeah, I'm Bishto. Are you Craig? Yeah, my name's Craig. There we go. That's that's their voices. Um, the way that the Unix is set up, the, the Man of War, uh, the Slug Cruiser A, is well, the Captain's Edition at least. So you've got two little light weapons that pierce two levels of shield and do damage to crew. Can also breach occasionally. Bio bomb, which does like sixty damage to crew um, and hits the entire room. Teleports and dual laser, which fires two shots. You have to snowball with this craft. This is the way the craft is designed. You kill enemy crew and you get their ships. This gives you more scrap than if you say, you know, left them alone and just blew the craft up. That scrap, you have to snowball. Because this weapon will not last you past sector two. Because people suddenly get two shields, you find two shots, you will never get past their shield. You need to pick up a new weapon. If you do not pick up a new weapon, you are dead. And it has to be a decent weapon. You can't just pick up any old crap. Um... That is the downside of the Slug Cruiser. The, the, the upside is that you can kill the crew, you can get a lot of scrap early on, and you can snowball. Also, Slug Repair Gel means you can, like, basically go, Ah, oh, you're a civilian with stuff. I want your stuff. Give it to me. Uh, the civilian won't say yes, but you get to, like, yeah, my crew are not going to blame because we're at Slug. You know, we do this. Slugs are, like, auxiliary federation, like, mercenaries. They, they kill civilians and stuff. They're evil. Um, we're going to do the... Stripping in my asteroid for some scrap and ooh, distress calls. I will do some distress calls. Hello. I'm approaching. This is Rebel Marine Squad Zeta 12. We have identified you. Resistance is futile. Oh. Hi. Okay, so my plan. Very early on being boarded is not good. I'm going to try and funnel them towards the med bay. Ah, I meant to stop those guys in there. Oh well. Right. Med bay is active. You should be taking damage. You'll be coming out there soon enough, I bet. Because I'm going to turn the oxygen back on. Don't die, don't die. Med bay should keep them alive. Oh, there we go. Narrow game I was playing, but if this happens at the beginning of your game, honestly, for most people, this is just a restart because it's like, wow, this is actually bad for me. There is no way this can be good. For us, we've just managed to pull it out as a nothing happened because no one's going to die. Please, God, don't let someone die because of my stupidity. Uh, I will vent this area into space and this area into space because they have no purpose. But honestly, this is just a waste of time for us. We need to get back on the, uh, the path to Slug Redemption or whatever we do. I don't know. Uh, we need to also... Put oxygen back in our ship because we had to vent most of the ship to get that done. Um, how much are we up to? 50%? Yeah, I'll jump on 50. Okay, what we got? Uh, accept the bribe. You know what? I will accept the bribe because it includes two fuel. I'm a slug. I'm allowed to be bribed. I'm evil, right? Not evil, but... Shield their ship. Yeah, I will. I know I said I was being evil, and then I shielded some dude's ship with mine, but it was also because they were offering me lots of fuel.
Just vent the command deck. It's the safest way. And the fire is going to go... Out. Which means I can then close doors. Put oxygen back in. And repair the bridge. This hasn't been like a great start. I'll be honest. But hey, at least we've got our level 2 shield. I'm sure we'll be able to do something with that. Right. Now, one thing that our ship has is the targeting jam, which allows you to use um, two power to like shut down enemy weapon. Is it just one enemy weapon? One, two, two weapons. Oh, I didn't spot that. That's pretty cool. So you can use extra power to shut down things. So honestly, I'd prefer to have gone power there rather than shield because there's no power to put in that shield, especially if we use a targeting jammer. Right, uh, we're going to go here and we're going to hang around the nebulies. Nebulies? Nebulies. Reject your offer. I will use the targeting jammer. And it failed. They have a mine launcher thing and miss uh, laser thing. Okay. Uh, you do have a med bay. That is disappointing. It means I can't go for the crew because they'll just medbay up. Although I can do one of my favorite tactics, which is I can go for the crew and then kill them all in one boat. Glow, uh, glow, glow thing when the med bay is down. So let's put um, shields on full power. Spread the love around. Mines. They're already going med bay. Right, well, we don't have time to waste doing this, then we have to take out the med bay. Oh, god damn mines. If they hit weapons, I'm just gonna have to take them out. Right, take that out. I want all my weapons on full power. I'm even taking the oxygen out. They almost took the oxygen out. Right, he has to die before that's repaired. It's open to space, which means he can't repair it, because he'll have to deal with the breach first. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a plus or a minus. He's dead. Next. The rock. I'm going to need to use the biobomb. Okay. The rock is flying. Easy done. It appears that there's still a breach in there because they had no atmosphere when I got a glimpse of it. Six fuel. That is why I like capturing. We took a pounding on the hull. We really did. But for six fuel, also 22 scrap early in the game, right? 22 scrap early in the game, normally you'd be getting 13 about now. Probably not worth the pounding on the hull, but six fuel. That is why it's worth it. And I need to quickly repressurize everything because we are running out of everything. Please give me the oxygen. Thank you. There we go. Bishdor's a little bit damaged. Yeah, we'll put Bishdor in for a little bit of a healy. Call me a Bishdor. Yeah, you run out of oxygen. Well, you get down to pretty low. I mean, it's life support, I know, but it's also oxygen, so. Mm -hmm. Delicious H2O. Right. 33. 35. Honestly, but the way that you capture the slug cruiser means you have quite a lot of fuel early on. Because uh, you do tend to get fuel when you capture. Um... You can also get more chance of weapons and stuff. So I'm hoping we get a weapon drop. Because as I said previously, it's all about the, them weapon drops. Yo. We'll wait until we get to about 60-ish. And jump. I can't go to there. So I'm going to hit the Wicked Nebulae. Yeah, I would like to attack the automated station. Jam. 
failed. God damn it. And now this is one enemy you have to be a bit worried about in this stage. Automated enemies are absolute hell because you cannot kill their crew, which means you don't want one, like, weapon. Now, we've only got one weapon up. They can't pierce our shields. So I'm just going to make sure we take out their ability to FTL jump. Because I do not want to get jumped on. They'll take down the shield for funsies. Probably hit the weapons again. You know. Standard, I'm having a lol. Also, I really miss healing when we get scrap. Because that health, just stationary, is looking bad. Like last time, we were going like, oh, it went down to half health. Do, 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 do. Now it's just a case of it's, it's sitting there, taunting us, telling us we need to repair. I don't like that. Doesn't matter where we shoot them next, they're dead. So this will be uh, probably 50 scrap, hopefully. Ah, shy. Oh, there we go, 50 scrap. Ooh, pardon me. And an ion charger. Charge time, six seconds, required power two, max charge shot three, ion damage one. So basically, uh, each ion lasts five seconds, roughly. I think it is five seconds. Uh, if they charge six seconds, that means you can overload an entire shield. This would actually be a pretty good late game weapon. I mean, not late, late game, but I mean mid game. Uh, I mean, you know, sector three through five. This and the dual laser could carry us. They'd not be great, but they could carry us. Now I'm going to get an extra point in power. Just because I know that eventually we will want to use uh, all of our fancy jamming stuff. I'm not going to trade with you, I'm sorry, because I can't. Uh, otherwise I would. You have a teleporter. That is annoying. I will jam your weapons. And we have disrupted your thingy. Bomb weapon. Okay, you've got cloning bay. So if I'm going to try and capture you, I've got to do this carefully. You are teleporting someone to me, which is annoying. So I'm going to vent that room. Good job. I vented it partially. He's going to get in, then we're going to trap him in. All right, have fun. I'm going to shoot the cloning bay. He now wants to get out. I'm going to hit the biobomb. Now, it's a waste of, uh, like, parts just waste a biobomb, but I think we need to do it. Nah, he got it offline again. Oh, online, sorry. I'm venting the weapons compartment. Ah, I should have retargeted those. My bad. He died. He's going to come back. I don't think we can get the dual laser up in time. We're going to try. Should have predicted this. This is bad on my part. Oh, we missed. Well, can't say we didn't try. He's just going to teleport over with the benefit of hindsight. Uh, he is still in vacuum space. Oh, if there's two holes in there, that's really good for us. By the sound of it, there's two breaches in that room. Now, if this guy dies... No, he teleported back. He's going to work on that. He's dead. You're going to come try and save him? You're dead as well. Clone system doesn't work. Boom. We win. That is how it's done. We need to put oxygen back in the ship. We were at like 5% oxygen there. It got a little bit risky. But it worked. 
And that is what matters. Yeah, I don't care about any other result. I'm a slug. We get things done. That's all that matters. Also, uh, you know, repressurizing the ship. Now, you might be like, well, why don't you get, like, a second level of life support? A uh, second level of life support would mean that you, you repressurize the ship so much faster. And they'll be like, yeah, but it's not necessary. It's it's honestly a little bit of a waste. It's useful in very minor situations. And it was like, like oh, it saves you some time. It's a convenience. Yeah, it's also something that's not necessary to win the game. And 50 scrap can make the difference. Uh, 50 scrap makes a difference in a lot of situations. I'd rather have that 50 scrap. I mean, I'm talking about 50 scrap, it's like life support and the power you put into it is 50 scrap. Not just the life support level 2. Life support level 2 is like 30. Have we got now? Um, almost 60. We'll jump at 60. I'm going to jump this way because I'm going to jump to the exit. I don't have to jump around and back down the route I took. Jam. And it's got no armaments, apparently. Turn off my med bay. Eh, okay. I'll be honest, you don't appear to have any armaments. And you have no way of healing. Or cloning. So don't mind me, but I'm going to shoot you. Because the one weapon you had is now offline. <laughs> this is why the slug cruiser is arguably OP in the early levels. Now, of course, he has to turn that into a snowball. If it doesn't, it loses. But, slug cruiser, early levels. One weapon, sure. I can turn your weapon off. Simple as that. Now, not a waste of bio bomb on them. I've only got 40 missiles. Yeah, 40 missiles sounds a lot, but when you get into a situation where you need to spam bio bombs, you lose like four bio bombs in a fight. There you go. That you're down to ten. Again, you're down to six. Yeah, cool. Keep shutting down my medbay. I don't need it. You'd need one, but unfortunately, you don't have one. Right, you're flying the ship? Cool. I didn't even damage the ship, well, apart from the fact I put a hole in it. There was a breach, but it didn't actually damage the hull. And I got a repair burst. self only unit that floods the room with nanobots completely capable of repairing all systems damaged. System damage minus eight, so it repairs systems. Okay. Uh, honestly, it's a bit wasted, especially since I've got my... I need my entire bar to really keep capturing ships, so... Thanks for the thought. I'm going to get a power bar because, as you can see, I don't have any engines. Kind of necessary. I'm going to jump way ahead of the fleet. Because it's, otherwise it's a waste of fuel. Which is a shame. But oh well. Uh, ooh. Smuggling or feeding ground? I'm going to hit the smuggling. Because with only two crew, I don't want to face fighting Mantis. I'd rather get more crew. That is another thing that this uh, ship sucks at. It really does need more crew. But that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, stay shiny.